Shalom, shalom, shalom. This is our body of Slash Obadiah. WFI Pittsburgh bringing you another cold cut. But first and foremost, we want to give all glory and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Barak Thumb. All glory and praises to our Father and His only begotten Son. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and get into this. Now, and the topic I want to touch on is what happens when you die? What happens when your body goes into the ground and your spirit? What happens to the spirit? Where does it go? Does the spirit disappear? We're going to touch on this thing and give you clear answers on what the scripture says. Okay? So with that, we ain't going to even prolong it. We're just going to hop right on into it, Israel. So we're going to go to the book of Genesis, chapter 2, verse 7. We're going to start there. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 2, verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. And breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. And man became a living soul. So God formed man of the dust of the ground. Of the dust of the ground. So with that we're going to go ahead and go to the book of Genesis. Chapter 3 verse 19. Let's see what it says. This is the book of Genesis chapter 3 verse 19. And the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread. Till thou return unto the ground, for out of it was thou taken, for thus thou art, and unto thus shall thou return. So we was created from the dirt of the ground. We was created for thus, and thus shall our bodies return. Okay? So, to make it more plainer. We was created from dust, and when we die, our corpses goes into a castle or get cremated, but it still ended up going back to dust. It, it's, it's a carnal body goes back to dust. Now let's find out what the spirit, what happens to the spirit. What happens to the spirit? Let's go ahead and get into that in the book of Ecclesiastes. Chapter 12 and verse 7. Let's see what it says. This is the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 7. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit, and the spirit, and the spirit shall return unto God who gave it, and the spirit shall return unto God who gave it. Now, this is where it gets deep, Israel, so I want y'all to pay attention and listen up, because we are made from the dust of the ground, Okay? And our bodies goes back to the ground. And our spirit goes up to the Heavenly Father. And let's see what happens. Let's go into it. We're going to go to the book of Second Edges. Now, Second Edges was one of the prophets that was wanted to know everything. So an angel Uriel came to the to Edges. And Edges would ask questions. And a lot of these questions was deep, too deep, to the point where Edges would faint and pass out. Okay, so he, he had to fast on occasions for a certain amount of days or whatever to be able to intake this information. But Edris was that type of prophet that wanted to know everything. In fact, Second Edris is my favorite book, all praise to the Most High, because I, I want to know everything too. So with that, we're going to go ahead and get into it. We're going to go to the book of Second Edris, chapter 4, verse 35. Now let's see where the soul go, because he said... The soul goes back up to God who gave it. Read it on. It's the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 4, verse 35. Did not the souls also of the righteous, did not the souls also of the righteous, not the wicked, but the righteous, I'm going to make it plain. Did not the souls also of the righteous ask questions of these things in their chambers, in their chambers? And their chambers, I want y'all to remember that. We're going to come back to it. Did not the souls also of the righteous ask questions of these things in their chambers, saying, How long shall I hope on this fashion? When cometh thou fruit of thy floor of thy reward? How long shall I hope on this fashion? When cometh the fruit of the floor of thy reward? We're going to talk about the fruit. Of the floor of thy reward is talking about the kingdom of heaven. Right? The floor represents the ground. 
We're on the ground. We walk on the ground. But when is our kingdom is coming? That is the question. Okay? So I'm going to read this one more time. We're going to go ahead and jump down to verse 40. So I'm going to read it again. This is the book of 2 Edges, chapter 4, verse 35. And it reads, Did not the souls also of the righteous ask questions of these things in their chambers, saying, How long shall I hope on this fashion? When cometh the fruit of the floor of thy reward? Now let's find out what is the chambers that Ezra is talking about. What is these chambers? Okay, let's go ahead and read it. See, book of second Ezra, jumping down to 4, verse 40. So he answered me and said, Go thy way to a woman with child and ask of her when she hath fulfilled her nine months, if her womb may keep the birth any longer within her. Reading on. 41. Then said I, no, Lord, that can she not, that can she not. And he said unto me, in the grave, the chambers of souls are like the womb of a woman. And he said unto me, in the grave, in the grave, the chambers of souls are like the womb of a woman. Now, we got to go to the characteristics of the womb of a woman. The womb of a woman is nourishing, right? You get your vitamins, your minerals, right? You eating, you eating good, and you also bring forth growth in the chamber of a woman. Now, there's no fighting in this chamber, okay? There's no good or evil in these chambers, okay? We're given the characteristics of a woman with child, okay? So I'm going to read that one more time, and we're going to go ahead and move on. This is the book of 2nd Edges, chapter 4, verse 40. So he answered me and said, Go thy way to a woman with child, and ask of her, when she hath fulfilled her nine months, if her womb may keep the birth any longer within her. Then said I, No, Lord, that can she not. And he said unto me, In the grave, the chambers of souls are like the womb of a woman. So, man was created from the dust of the ground. And so the dust of the ground, your body shall return. But your souls goes up to heaven in a chamber. And in this chamber, you are able to ask the Lord questions. Okay? Moving on. We're going to go to the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 14, verse 35. This is the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 14, verse 35. And it reads, For after death, for after death shall the judgment come, when we shall live again. And then shall the names of the righteous be manifested, and the works of the ungodly be declared. I'm going to read it again. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 14, verse 35. For after death shall the judgment come, when we shall live again. Now we got to sum it all up. Israel was created, man was made from the dust of the ground. So the dust of the ground, our body shall return, and our souls goes back up into the heavens, into a chamber. Now, in this chamber is a comforting stage where we are waiting. We are waiting for something, and we're going to touch on that now. Let's see what we're waiting for, because it's like, remember, it's like a woman with child, and she, the woman carries her child for nine months. It's a specific time that, that that child have to stay into that woman's womb for a specific nine months. It's a time that when our souls goes up to God, it's a time that it has to stay in the chamber before it gets sent back down here. Let's go ahead and read about that and see what it is, Israel. We're going to go to the book of Ecclesiastes. I'm 
Matter of fact, lock it. We're going to go to the book of Numbers. The book of Numbers, chapter 14, verse 18. Let's see what it says. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 14, and verse 18. The Lord is long-suffering and of great mercy, forgiving iniquity and transgressions, and by no means clearing the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children's unto the third and fourth generations, unto the third and fourth generations, unto the third and fourth generation. So it's letting us know that we go and we be in these chambers for three to four generations, we get sent back down. I hope y'all following me, Israel, and I hope that I'm making this plain as I can make it. Okay, so let's go back over it. Man was formed, made from the dust of the ground. And so the dust of the ground, so our bodies return. And our souls shall go up to God who gave it. Our souls will sit into a chamber when we are able to ask questions. And at the same time, the Most High God judges us and send our souls back down here, back into the woman's womb. When we show, she shall give birth and we shall be born again. When we shall be born again. Now, let's go ahead and move on, Israel. I hope y'all still with me. We're going to go to the book of Ecclesiastes. Lock them all over the place. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 1, verse 11. This is the book of Ecclesiastes. Chapter 1. Verse 11, and it reads, There is no remembrance of former things, neither shall there be any remembrance of things that are to come, with those that shall come after, with those shall, that shall come after. So it's letting us know that life rolls in a cycle, in a cycle, in a cycle, Israel, okay? I'm going to jump up to verse 9. Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 9. The thing that has been, it is that which shall be. And that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. And there is no new thing under the sun. Quick recap. <sighs> God formed us from the dust of the ground, and our bodies shall return and become dust again. Our souls goes up to God, and we go into this chamber. And we wait into this chamber for three to four generations when the Most High God judges us and send us back down here. Now, when we come back down here, we do not remember. We have no remembrance of the former things. Okay, we don't even have the remembrance of the questions that we asked the Lord. Okay, so we come back down, we don't remember anything, and it starts that cycle repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly. As he said, there's no new thing under the sun. Now, I made this video quick and short for some of y'all to easily grasp, and I hope this video was edifying. Okay, I didn't want to bring too many scriptures. I didn't want to go too deep with it. I just wanted to stay on the surface for y'all to understand because a lot of our people wonders on that. Where ha what happens when we die? Okay, they do movie documentaries on these things. Okay, but we getting it straight from the Most High. Okay, who created us all. So I hope I made it plain for everybody to get and every for everybody to understand. This is what happens when our souls die. Now, this is no means of the talking about the second death. That's a whole nother thing when we get judged overall. This ain't talking about the second death. This is just talking about right now when we are still in the first death. When the water of the um, flood in Genesis happened, that's when the Lord, when the Most High God flooded the whole world, 
That was the first death. The second death will be by fire when these nuclear weapons come. That's a whole other topic. I'll leave that for another day. I just wanted to tell y'all and give you clarity on what happens to the body and the spirit. And now, hopefully, Lord willing, you will have more clear understanding. So with that, I'm going to give all glory and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Barak Thumb. All glory and praises to our Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. So with that said, Shalom.